There you go. And what was that thumbnail? I do not know. Okay. Now, um, a few things to start. Isn't this very cute? And isn't this crazy? I am back on my bed doing a chit chat style video vlog type thing. And it feels so good and it's been just so long. And I'm really glad to be back in the setup of the bed and doing the talking thing and the update things and stuff. And I'm just really excited. It's literally been probably years, like two moves, two houses ago that I've done this. I've been in here since November of 2021. It is now, what is it again? The month of July in the year 2022. And it's good to be back. I don't know how long it's been. It's been too long though. But yeah, also the third thing, talked about this, talked about this, and then talked about this. Um, the camera may or may not die. I don't think I charged it. I wasn't really paying attention. Oops. I've been doing a lot of pictures and other types of vlogs and other content and I'm just using my words using my camera probably a bit much like an overdose of that. But anyway, so I wanted to do a school update and talk about what I feel is probably my worst semester ever, like my worst college experience, the hardest course I've ever taken. Yeah, so let's just get right into it. I even have notes. <laughs> I did a Facebook post about this. I'm going to write about this in that journal just to record, reflect. Uh, not that I want to like re-endure or relive like this crappy, shitty uh, semester, but I just like to document things and that's what we're doing today. So if you want to hear the updates, if you want to join me on the bed, that sounds really weird. You know what I'm trying to say. You you know what I mean. But anyway, um, I'm just going to jump right on into it because I ramble and this is going to be rambly anyway. But okay, so there was drama with both halves of the semester. I'm so proud of myself. Like I'm actually just getting right on into the story time. But yeah, so spring semester, which officially ends actually tomorrow, July 20th. There we go. Um, pay attention to them. Um, yeah, it's split up to where it's the end of the school year going into early June, and then you have a summer school program, which will complete your semester experience, your spring semester senior practicum experience. Practicum, if you don't know, I have talked about this before, but if you're not understanding what that means, basically it's in the classroom in-person experience where you work with kids, you teach with kids more and more often to build up your confidence and your comfort in being a teacher, right? So it's like prep, like the preparation for you to student teach and then graduate and then be in your own classroom, become a first year teacher and whatever. So there was drama with both times at two different elementary schools. The drama was aimed at me. I felt like a target, like it was always towards me. And it was really uncomfortable, especially because I can be kind of shy and quiet and I don't like conflict conflict. I don't like being the center of attention. I don't like drama. It makes me feel awkward and uncomfortable and I just don't like drama and it felt like a bunch of high school girls. Like the kids, the fact that I was working with kids and the fact that they can be a bunch of drama, that was so much easier. It wasn't anything in comparison to, to the adults and the staff and my peers. It was just ridiculous. So first half of the semester was drama. I worked with a mentor teacher and that just means like you're in a classroom experience, you work with the teacher of that classroom, you teach their students in front of them, they help guide you, they help like grade you, give you feedback, whatever, so they provide their assistance while you're kind of in training, right? And you're not paid by the way. We're not paid enough anyway, but it's an internship where you also don't get paid, which sucks. Booty. Um, anyway, so my mentor teacher was really hard on me. and. I still put a little bit of blame on myself because I almost dropped this class and just stopped the semester. I'm on track for fall and winter. Spring is my off track, which means I don't have to take any classes if I don't want to, but I'm doing full time every semester or like along those lines where I'm taking at least one class every semester to hurry scurry to graduation, to get things done and accomplished, just to get on out of college and into the real world. So there was drama with the first half of the semester. My mentor teacher didn't like me. She was really cold towards me and she was a very unique personality. I've never met anybody like her where she was sarcastic.
also ran her classroom like a freaking fucking boot camp. She talked badly about her students, so I assumed that she talked badly about me. If you hear people talk bad about other people, odds are, most likely, they are also talking bad about you. So I know that she talked shit about me. And come to find out later, it was confirmed that that was indeed fact and not just my concern and my paranoia. It was real life. And so this is where I put some blame on myself. So a few days into the practicum experience, over the weekend, I text and email my professor, my mentor teacher, as well as my peers, like my carpool group, you know, like the friends who I would carpool to Idaho Falls, which is like a half hour commute at the elementary school that we were at. Soon you will find out why I started driving myself. And I'm like, hey guys, because of anxiety and my mental health, I think I just need to drop the class and skip this semester. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience and how it changed my mind, whatever. And then the next day I'm like, okay, I'm thinking I need to try it again. I talked to my professor, I met with him. He's really encouraging me, not like forcing me, not like swaying me or anything, but he really encouraged me to try again, to do my best work and know that that's all I can do. Like all you can do is your best and that's fine. And so I come back to cold shoulders. I come back to, is that the phrase? And the silent treatment, like the staff was really weird to me and they're my first grade team. Like I was in a first grade classroom and I worked with the first grade team. So there were three other teachers and they were so weird towards me. And they just wouldn't talk to me. I was stared at and I know that I was talked about and my mentor was really upset. Like, if you do this again, you know, like, I just can't have you do this again. I can't have you leave and then try to come back. Like, no. And my professor said that he would have hoped and he knew the whole story. You know, I would update him and he really cared and he was really concerned with my experience, you know. But he was like, I wish that they would have been excited for you to come back, like excited to have you back, like cheer you on and support you and want you there. Like, it's so good to have you back, but there wasn't any of that. So that was the first half of the semester drama. The kids were so much fun to work with. It was a class of about 20 kids and they were just each so sweet and kind in their own way. And then teacher appreciation week comes and I get cute little notes and things and I got notes throughout the semester as well. And it was just so cute and pure and sweet and wholesome. And I even got like a little gift card to a drink place, which I vlogged about or something because that's me. I have to document everything, right? So it was so good that way. And then I do a thank you note at the end of my time in that classroom to the teacher. And a gift and a birthday gift. And I have the kids do a thank you note because it was my teacher's last year there. And it, plus it was the end of the school year. And so I was like, oh, that's just a kind, sweet thing to do, I feel like. And I'm proud of myself because I stayed nice. I think other people would have caused more drama. They would have stirred up more tr trouble like they would have been really upset and I was kind of butthurt at first like I was hurt like what have I done like I know that I made the mistake in like changing my mind but like twice like I'm gonna drop the class wait I'm gonna come back you know but like so stupid summer school comes and I'm like new school new students new classroom it's a different experience where I work with a partner and it actually ended up being the same girl in my first grade team she's really really cool her name's charity i know she's not here she's not aware of my channel but anyway um she was so sweet and kind to me i found out she's only 20 years old and already married and already a senior and she's going to be student teaching and graduating this fall by december i'm just like that's crazy so i'm really happy for her and excited for her and you know proud of her and everything and i would call her a friend she was a really good person and by this time by summer school I was like very hopeful, like it's gonna be okay. And we have a supervisor who wasn't exactly a mentor teacher, like she wasn't as involved and we were more on our own with teaching. My co-teaching partner and I, we would like skip days where we each taught about, how many times? Four times or something? There were only like seven days of summer school. How did that work? Cause it was only like, I think twice a week. Something like that, whereas the first half of the semester is three days a week. Is that right? It's all a blur. It's just been a lot, but that sounds about right. I think that was right, yeah. So we just didn't have that long. It was only like a month worth, and it was just not that long. So I think it was about seven times. Is that math? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, there was this one girl who was Charity's carpool friend, you know, like my partner's partner, like her carpool friend partner, and I think that they were pretty close, and I had never talked to her before this. But what happened was a girl in my carpool group, she turned my words around. She put words in my mouth. She, she just twisted and turned everything. And she said that 
I said this thing, which I didn't say at all. It wasn't even close to what I said. The first day of practicum with the new program after the school year with my partner, Charity, I'm like, guys, I need to step up. Like, I'm, I'm telling my carpool group, and this is like girls' camp. Things stay in the tent. With the carpool group, things stay in the car. But it was not so. And so this friend, by the way, I had my carpool group friends, or so I thought friends, over to my house for a meal. Like, we hung out at my house. I invited them to my house, and I live at home, obviously, as you can see. Like, this is not a dorm. But so frustrating because then she, like, turns on me, kind of. So it was so annoying and frustrating. And all I said, yeah, all I said was, like, my partner Charity is, like, doing all the work. I feel bad. Like, she's so involved. She's so good. And I just feel behind. I need to step up. I just don't know how. Like, I don't know my place. Like, I haven't had my turn, my chance, you know? And so that turned into Emily hates Charity. She, t she just hates her and how she, like, hogs the spotlight. And it's just so unfair and blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, what is going on? Like, high school mean girls, like, these people are older. And my mentor teacher, the last half, or not last half, the first half of the semester, like, she was so harsh towards me, but she was also pregnant, so she was even more grumpy, I feel like, and she was, like, in her late 30s, I found out, and it's just, like, you're acting like whatever, and you're treating me like I'm trash, you know? Yeah, her students were more mature than her. So, so stupid. So then the rumor goes around with the girls in my class, like my peers, then it gets back to Charity, then Charity tells my professor out of concern, like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to react or respond. Now it's weird to interact with Emily. And I remember the day that I found out about the rumor, right? It was a few days into summer school, if not like day two, right? So stupid. Um, Charity was kind of quieter that day. And I was like, did I do something? And apparently I did when I did not, you know? And so my professor calls a meeting at the end of the day. I think it was on Monday, like day two of the whatever and so he calls a meeting and I'm like please don't be about me please don't be about me the first word he says is my name and I'm like oh great but I was thinking this whole entire experience like oh wait he's having a meeting just about the first half of the semester where my teacher was kind of mean I wonder if that got out of my carpool group and that was being spread around where I'm just going through a hard time and my teacher who I'm with is just really hard on me very harsh towards me and that's not what happened. He's like, so Emily said this about charity, but I was so confused. I wasn't following because I was stuck in that mindset. Like, okay, I know all this. I understand he's going to say, you know, I feel bad for Emily. Just be kind, you guys. But really it turned into that. And then he meets with the three of us. It's just the three of us at the end. Like he excuses everybody. And then he's like, charity, Emily, want you here. So we work it out. I explain things, what I actually said. So I put the rumors to bed and then we moved on. Like, Charity and I were fine. There were never any drama. There was never any drama between us. We were always on good terms. But I feel like after that, like, we were closer, yet it was still a little bit awkward just because I felt really bad. Like, it was so stupid. So drama first half, drama next half, last half, whatever. And I just love those kids in the program. So sweet, so hilarious. And then the last day of the semester, like, in-person meeting in class with my professor and as peers and everything, it was like honestly two weeks ago was it two and a half weeks ago I don't know but it was so nice because that was it we were planning on more like going over more content and readings and assignments but he was like I think it's been a semester and it has been believe you me and he's like I want you guys to just enjoy your break early work on the last assignments and projects and you're good to go we don't have to meet anymore and he's the kind of teacher he's probably my favorite kind outside of my favorite kind my favorite professor or teacher I've ever had outside of two of my favorites who meant a lot to me who still do that I met and met and had in high school right like he's my best college professor he just talks a lot he rambles he rants he has a lot of opinions very opinionated a lot of story times in his classroom he likes to hear his own voice like hear himself speak and that's fine like he's a lot of fun he's really cool he knows how to be serious but also have fun like he can be so direct and intense while still having like a light-hearted conversation whatever so yeah and then the portfolio party, they would have these throughout the semester, like prep for a big project that we would do, a giant portfolio with our teaching experiences and sharing our assignments and things like our best assignments that we've done since our freshman year up till now. So stupid though, we don't start the portfolio itself until senior practicum, which is the semester before we graduate. And it's like, if only we could 
have been more aware, you know, it's easier to save assignments. Thankfully, I've saved everything, like every single assignment ever from every single class ever with college on my like hard drive, external hard drive. So that's really nice. That was a relief. Then one girl puts in the Zoom chat, like for our class, like all of these ideas and everybody can add to them, like this assignment for this domain and content area and area within like the project that we had to do, like you had to have certain themes and topics to match with everything. It was so confusing, but now it's done and over with, you know? So those were called portfolio parties, but I wanted, I hoped for like a legit portfolio party. And it was the last day of practicum, like back on campus after our commute, commute words cannot talk still. And I'm almost 25. Well, if you round up, but anyway, um, just so frustrating and annoying. Like I went, but only towards the end because I just wanted a day to myself. And I was like, I did initiate this portfolio party. Like I brought the idea up and it got a lot of attention. Like that sounds so fun and let's do it. So it was a legit portfolio party where it was post portfolio. Like it should have been done by then. And it was just supposed to be a fun grand old time where we would watch a movie and share our thoughts and just share and bring food and just have snacks and just hang out, you know? So I come at the very end and I see more tears than movie. Like I missed basically everything and the girls were like crying, you know, because it was just such a good movie. I watched it later. Like it took me a few days to watch it because I just had a lot going on. And so I didn't watch it like all in one run. So I missed the portfolio party that I technically like started and initiated. So it made me kind of sad, but I was like, maybe I just skip it anyway because it's last year practicum. I want to go to Great Harvest, get a sandwich, just hang out with myself, just spend time with myself so then I go late because not so much because I wanted to go to the portfolio party like the real one but my teacher sends me an email and he's like I want to talk to you about your observation so he will observe you throughout the semester and I had him observe me twice and he initiated coming again because he was like I kind of want to see more so he observes me on the last day of practicum. I bring in my story, which I want to publish. Uh, it's just like a rough draft version of a children's book that I'm trying to put out there. I'm gonna work on that and hopefully get it out there by this month or next month, August, we'll see. August is the anniversary, the first year anniversary of Grandma Rose, my first book, so that's exciting. But anyway, back to this. Um, so he emails me and he's like, okay, I think we need to talk. And so he's like, how about after the portfolio party? And I'm like, I'm not going and then I do go because I really got to talk to him and I can't be in suspense anymore and I just need an answer like is this a pass or fail grade and then moving on to student teaching and then graduating next semester what's going on so come to find out and I'm gonna get to that so I'm gonna leave you in suspense it's your turn to be in suspense I've been in suspense way too much this semester anyway the portfolio presentation I passed that I passed it with flying colors I think that's the phrase my professor was so proud and my chair, as well as the mentor teacher who I invited, who I actually had last semester, she's amazing, love her, love her. She, she's just great, I adore her. But I got good feedback, it was a good conversation. The communication was really good. I think I came across myself and I was myself and it was even fun. And as a person who has anxiety or phobia of human beings and interactions, especially with strangers, like I'm proud of myself, I did pretty good. I presented well, like I feel really good and confident about it. If you do hear back from your chair, like the guy who's in charge of your presentation kind of, um, that's bad news. I never heard back and I even asked him, I was like, so how do you feel about it? And I explained to him, and I'm gonna get to this as well, how I passed the course, but not the practicum portion of this past semester. And so I need to repeat senior practicum, even though I have an A, nearly an A plus in the class. So. It's a bummer and I'm gonna get to that, but he was really appreciative. He was like, two things. A student who has to retake this class, they would probably not tell me this during their portfolio presentation and they would also not be positive about it and they would not take it from the same professor. Like, well, that's like three things kind of. And I did all of that. So really proud of myself for that. It went really, really well. I got a lot of compliments. My mentor teacher was really impressed with me. She gave me awesome feedback, very positive, very kind. And she's a mentor teacher who I adore. My last one, the one I just had, not so much, but whatever. Um, and then my professor's name is Brooke Pa, Brother Puccini. In my church at the school, we call each other brother, sister, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I meet with him. And I just met with him the other day. I think it was last week. It's just all been a blur. Like there's a portfolio presentation on a Wednesday. 
think the following week I met with my teacher, which was last week. The semester ends tomorrow, so lots of things going on on the Wednesdays these days, but yeah. Are we going? Please say we're going. I would be so sad. Okay, I've been talking for 20 bloody blasted minutes, and the camera's like, got it's half life, half battery. Sounds so intense. Very extreme of me. But yeah, so I meet with him and it's a really good conversation and good things are happening. I'm pleasantly surprised with the outcome and we talked about this prior on the last day of practicum and I was just asking a bunch of questions. Like I was putting not 20 questions, but like 100 questions. I just had question after question, everything from concerns to curiosity, you know, and I'm like, okay, so I'm repeating the class as in just the Apple News, so excited. <laughs> um, like I'm repeating the practicum portion where I need more experience in the classroom and I'm not having to repeat any of the coursework because I have an A. And he did say at the beginning of the semester, I didn't know that I would be a victim of this and it's fine now, like I'm not offended anymore. But he was like, you may get an A, maybe even an A plus in the class, but I will have you repeat it. So that happened to me. I just did not expect that. We all feared it in the class, like all my peers and I, but I just didn't know that the outcome would end in this and this is the result. But anyway, so I meet with him and with my infinity amount of questions, I find out that my tuition is going to be cut. It sounds like it will be. Whereas it was a part-time class, a giant six credit class where now it's only a one credit because I'm not doing all the coursework. Like I don't need to do most of the class, right? Well, a big chunk of the class is actually the practicum experience itself, you know, but that's really going to help. It's just under $200 I have to pay instead of like over a thousand, which I would normally have to pay for a six credit part-time class. So I'm very, very, very grateful and glad for that. I think that's really going to help. I do get a scholarship through my dad's work. The Pell Grant should carry over to my last semester, I believe. So good things are happening. And with the excess of money, usually it just goes into your bank account, like my dad's scholarship, which is really nice. It's going to help me post-graduation, going to be really, really nice. So I appreciate that. Then I was also asking him, like, is it possible for me to be a TA? I would love to be your TA. You're my favorite teacher. So I really try to, like, talk myself up. Like, I'm like, I do my best work. I really care. I'm the A-plus type of student. Like, I really want to perform well. And I would love to be a TA because I am a nerd. And I was actually a high school TA from one of my favorite teachers back in high school. All I did was fill his cup up with, with water. Like, I would just go down to the drinking fountain, take his favorite cup, just fill it up with water, plop it on his desk. That was it. So, kind of a joke. But it was still fun, you know. But I want to be, like, a serious TA. Plus, you get paid for it, which is nice. And so tuition's really cut, and then I have the TA opportunity and experience coming this fall. I have to repeat practicum portion, but not the coursework in addition. And the portfolio presentation is done with. I don't have to redo that. I've already passed it again with flying colors. And then the other good news is also, what was it? Just wanted to keep track of. Um, let's see. My placement, did I talk about that? My placement, I'm placed here in town because of anxiety, mental health, health, and just me being at home. And so they understand that they have to like cater to me and they do really adhere to the concerns of the students here. They want you to perform the best. I just can't live on my own right now at this time because of my anxiety. And so I'll perform the best here in town where I can still be at home. So it's not even really a commute, it's like down a few corners, the elementary school that I'm placed at for student teaching the semester that I graduate. And so it's going to be a really good experience. I work with a great mentor teacher. I'm so excited. I've only heard good things. And it's a great elementary school. The schools here in my town are the best. Idaho Falls. Not that they're terrible, awful, but I've been to some. And they're just harder. The staff is different, more unique. They don't have a good rep exactly. But anyway, sounds like I can keep my placement, which is very, very exciting. Oh, right. This was what I was going to say earlier. So the coursework, right? I don't have to do any of that. My partner, Charity, she saved me. Like she was my savior this semester. So on top of it, not that I'm not, but she was like a plus, 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 plus. Like she was amazing. She's a beautiful human being inside and out. She's so, so smart. She's very advanced, like good at everything, honestly. Like she's an angel. Like she's a perfect thing, right? And just amazing. So she really helped me with the unit plan, with the organizing and the documenting of the students' work and keeping track of scores and 
recording information, like just everything that she did really, really helped. And I got an A on that assignment. It was a big, big assignment. So I'm so grateful for this. I've worked so hard in this class and good things are happening. Like, yes, I'm pushed back by four months. Yes, it's going to be harder with, you know, Chris and things, but like it will be worth it in the end because I'm going to have more experience. Plus the senior practicum, like you can take that as many times as you need to. And I need to because I wasn't offered that good experience. It was a really hard and a harsh experience and I didn't get a lot of teaching time. And it, I just, I needed more practice when I wasn't really like allotted that, if that's the right word. But um, student teaching, you can't repeat. That is truly a pass or fail grade. That's it. So then you don't get your certificate. You don't graduate in elementary education. You're done for kind of. And I really want to perform well and do my best work and do a good job. And I will. Okay. So talked about that. Um, and then was it yesterday? Again, it's just been a blur. Just a lot going on now. The semester is finally slowing down. Just waiting on one more assignment to be graded. Right now I have an A. I did have an A plus, but this assignment was like incorrectly put in as like not the best grade. So I'm trying to correct that. But you don't get your final grade until like next week or something, like next Thursday. So there's a week and a day or two days, whatever, however math works. But I sold some books. So I'm like, Okay, I'm a hoarder, you can probably tell, even just from this right here behind me, but basically, I like stuff. I like thrifting, collecting, I like a quirky environment, comfortable, cozy, it's not cozy to other people, it's probably stressful, just an overdose and overload of stuff, but anyway, I collect books. A lot of the core education books are really important, so my minor is English education, my major, obviously elementary ed, did I explain that right? English education, elementary education, yeah, and I'm a nerd about both, and I just held on to a lot of the books because it's been encouraged, and they're highly spoken about, and they're really important, and plus some of the English books I really, really like because of the poetry and the content, they're just fun and interesting to me, but, excuse me, I talked to my parents and my brother, and they're like, really, I would try to sell some, so I take, like, three yesterday, and I go to the school, and I'm all gross, like, I don't feel cute. I don't look good. I'm just like, mm. okay. But I go anyway and it rings up. Like they pay me $59 for two crap books. Like these are English books that I have no interest in, like no desire to reread or re-keep, re-keep or keep, you know, and I have a lot of notes with every class, with every assignment. So I have notes on those books as well, but I don't need to reflect on those notes as much. I'm a nerd. So that's what I do anyway. But with those ones, I won't just because they're not good to me. I like crap books. But I got 59 bucks for them. One book they returned to me and they were like, we can't take this. So I'm just going to hang on to that. It's okay now that I think about it, whatever. Then I go back because I'm like, maybe I should go through my books again. This time I bring five. One they won't take. And so they say, do you want to put any of the ones we won't take in a bin to be sent to Africa, like a donation, you know, like to help with that. And I'm like, oh, yes, please. This was a book I hated. I was like, is it digraph, diagram, whatever it's called? It gave me like nightmares. It was so stressful. I hated that class. And that book just like stressed me out. Like it did not bring a piece about me. And so it's basically where like you do verbs, adverbs, all kinds of grammar things. And you put the word in the sentence or the phrase online. So it's like a web. So frustrating and annoying. It's just too complex, too complicated. I love English. I love grammar. I love spelling. I love words. But there's something else with that. Like it's something else. It's bizarre. I'm not a fan. So I was glad to see that go, but hopefully someone finds it interesting. It's very informative. It's interesting, but I'm never going to do it again. I never want to see that book again. And then another book they returned to me, and I'm just like, I'm going to hang on to that because it's older grades, like English-based information that can help me if I do teach older grades, you know, like if I sub in like a high school or something. Not that I think I ever would, but anyway. So, um accomplished got some more money and then those other books I brought back the three that they took they were were they English I think they were again it's been a blur like it's the phrase of my life it's been a blur but um they only took like $14 or they only gave me like $14 that's fine by me I was really happy with the 59 but anyway and then a praxis test which is like a core education test I have to take two more 
and then I have to pass just to my left. Three I passed, thankfully. Very, very grateful. But I rescheduled that, so 40 of those, however many dollars from the books that I sold, is going to the rescheduling fee, and that's fine. I'm just not prepared. So, uh, I'm gonna be a TA in the fall. Good things are happening. I'm gonna get paid for that. And the Praxis, just two more left to pass. I've passed so many things within the coursework in this semester that I'm good to go. Okay, my camera just turned off and it's gonna turn off again, so I'm gonna get going. But that was basically my notes. I think I touched on everything. Um, I'm just gonna work on me, and I have some business ideas, like with calendars I wanna make that I already started. Well, I have like the rough draft, I have mine, like a trial and error one for me that I've been wanting to make, and then I saw it and I was like, maybe I should sell these. Then I'm gonna sell t shirts, I'm gonna design and sell t shirts through my friend's store. She has a store. And what else is on there? I'm going to go to Tri-Cities in September, which is my hometown, which my favorite people are right now, including Chris. And so I'm trying to treat myself and do fun things. And I'm just trying to work on me and just enjoy life right now. It was a hell of a semester and I'm ready to move on, move past it. And I think it's going to be okay. So that's what I was going to say. I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. So that was my update. And now I'm tired, and I'm gonna be lazy. Watch some YouTube probably for the rest of the day. I don't really have plans for the rest of the day. Okay, are we going? Okay, so love you much, and a little thought of the day do something for you, treat yourself actually every single day, but especially today and this moment. And just stop what you're doing. And after I click the video off, I want you to go treat yourself. I really hope that for you. It can be anything, just as long as it's for you, for no one else. Just make it happen and love you.